Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a Samhain reading for all signs. So please check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or north node, whichever you are drawn to. There will be a message here for you. All of the signs will be time stamped down below. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start first with Scorpio. So let's see which Samhain messages and blessings are coming through for my dearest Scorpios. All right, we have faith, beautiful. All right, and we have prosperity. So Scorpio, whatever you guys are working on, Spirit wants you to know, wants you to have faith that it absolutely is coming to pass, okay? That is your Samhain blessing to keep the faith, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, it's coming and it's coming in abundance. So if that's love, if that's health, if that's money, if that's your business, if that's family, wow, beautiful. You've got prosperity and abundance on its way to you, but don't give up faith. Don't give up hope here, Scorpio. All right, we've got the magician. So this is Libra and Gemini energy. So my Scorpios, you guys, you guys are manifesting this. There is magic all around you. You guys are manifesting in a huge way. Um, some of you, you might be feeling a little bit foolish for, you know, doing this, being on this path, questioning whether or not, you know, this is your person or they're going to come back or if this business is going to work or whatever it is. But there's a brand new, beautiful journey, Aries energy. And the Four of Swords, if things have felt really stuck between you and another person um, or in your business or your finances or your health, all of that is shifting and changing. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, so strong Aries energy in this reading. But a lot of my Scorpios, you guys are bossing up. Some of you guys, you're calling in a soulmate or you know a divine counterpart. Some of you are healing a love situation. Others of you, this is money and business, but there's so much prosperity on its way into you and with these major arcana cards my goodness scorpio whatever it is you want it's coming it's absolutely coming we get night be brave and honest so continue on this path even when you feel like maybe you're not doing the right thing or um, it's about trusting your heart and trusting your own guidance here all right, and I do feel for a lot of you, it may be romantic. There may be a message coming to you soon, um, but for others of you, it's about just being brave. You've dared to strike out on your own to be unique. A lot of you, it's your own business is really going to be taking off. Um, but yeah, gorgeous energy here, Scorpio. All right, final messages. The abundant universe will provide. So some of you guys are really worried about your finances or worried about this path that you've taken or that you're about to take. Mm -mm, Spirit saying there's abundance coming to you in a really big way, Scorpio. And you're going to overcome any obstacles. Wow. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the description box if you're after a private reading or you want to check out the cards that I'm using um, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care, Scorpio. Hello, my dear Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and check out what Samhain messages and blessings are coming through for you. Messages, please, for my Sagittarius. For the Samhain reading. All right, so we've got patience. Beautiful. That's your energy, Sag, that temperance energy. You may have been patiently waiting for someone or something. It's on its way. And luxury. So, wow, some of you guys, this is a major up leveling. Um, you know, this can be in, you know, in your lifestyle. This can be in love. There is magic all around you at this time, Sagittarius. So, Let's dig a little bit deeper. I love that luxury card. Some of, you, some of you guys, you've been saving up for like a house or a new car or you're just sort of revamping your wardrobe. Um, whatever this is you've been patiently waiting for, it is coming. 
All right, so we get the Ten of Swords. So you guys have experienced some sort of very painful ending here, you guys. Um, a lot of you, maybe you've been trying to finalize a divorce or you've had difficulties with an ex. You're getting clarity, you're standing your ground, you've done a lot of healing, and you're calling in a new partnership or you're calling in balance, emotional balance and freedom after everything that you've been through. Some of you, you may have been dealing with an Aries for some of my Saggies out there, you guys have started your own business and it's been, you know, times have been tough, um, but you're pushing through. I love this energy because the Two of Cups tells me that you're going to get what you want and it's going to feel so good, you guys. That's Venus in Cancer. All right. And Guardian Angel, you are not alone. So even in times where you have felt like you've been on your own or maybe you've been abandoned by spirit or your angels or your guides, pay attention, especially those of you who find feathers when you're going on walks or you see them floating down the screen or in the air, whatever it might be, you guys, you are absolutely are not alone. You've been through something very tough. A lot of my Saggies, you're getting rid of, I don't know if you're leaving a job or a position or a relationship that you felt was very controlling or very oppressive. Um, I feel like there's some sort of freedom that's tied in with that luxury that you are, that you're coming into. And again, it could be just a new relationship, a new job. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. I feel that's exactly what you're doing. There's a lot of sort of darker energy here, like darker blues and purples. This is about healing. It's also protection. You guys are also really trusting your own intuition and guidance. And a lot of you guys, you're freeing yourselves from some sort of tangled web, but you're opening yourselves up to luxury and use your mind wisely. So I do see that we have a lot of swords in this reading, Sag. So make sure that again, that you don't sort of, um, you know, um, overanalyze or, you know, talk yourself out of making your dreams a reality because with this patience, you are going to have everything that you've been trying to manifest here and you will be releasing yourself from a painful cycle relationship or situation. All right, you guys, if these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. Um, if you're after private reading or you like the cards I'm using, um, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is in the description box down below. So thank you and have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care. Hello, my dear Capricorns. Let's go ahead and see what Samhain messages and blessings are coming through for my dearest Capricorns. So you get good fortune. Beautiful. So some of you guys, you are calling in money. I love it. But it can also be the wheel of fortune is now turning in your favor, whatever situation this might be. But my Capricorns, those of you who are after abundance and money, it is absolutely on its way. We've got prosperity and good fortune. So you guys, what a nice, nice message. What beautiful blessings come in your way, bringing you financial stability, emotional stability. Mm, I love this. So some of you guys, like I said, it's going to be actual money, a windfall, a raise, a promotion, your business really taking off. Um, maybe you're getting an inheritance, but for others of you guys, you may be getting this through partnership. Okay. So it doesn't all have to be just, you know, finances, but gorgeous. All right, so you guys get the Queen of Swords, all right, um, the Star card. So many of you guys are healing, beautiful manifesting wish fulfillment after a period of feeling a bit stuck. So you guys are starting to see very clearly the path ahead of you. Um, and you may have been in a little bit of a haze or a fuzz, right? I'm also seeing that some of you guys are going to be able, you're going to be granted the resources to take that trip that you needed to or wanted to, to start that business. Um, there's clarity, healing coming towards you, but it's also in the mental body after a period of stasis or inertia or holding back. We have the tower at the bottom of the deck, so it's going to come as quite a surprise. So a lot of my, my Capricorns out there, you guys absolutely are not excited expecting this um, and a lot of you I think you were preparing for the worst when you're actually calling in the best so I love that energy strong Aquarius um, unlock the magic within beautiful so you guys are definitely being supported and divinely guided here on this journey but a lot of you guys you're tapping into skill sets that maybe you had tucked away or you didn't realize you had you're coming into an understanding of certain gifts that you have 
um, whether that's in communication, whether that's psychic gifts, whether that's in sales, whatever it is, Capricorn, you're tapping into it. You've had it all along and it's going to bring you this good fortune and this prosperity. So absolutely. We get horse spirit. Freedom is yours. For a lot of you guys, it's giving you freedom. Some of you guys, this is absolutely, it's financial freedom and independence coming your way. But for others of you, you're starting your own business or your own business is starting to take off or you're just freeing yourselves from outdated patterns and paradigms, um, recognizing your own power. And you're being very fearless and bold on this journey. So I think a lot of my Capricorns, you guys have been playing it safe now you have the clarity and the strength and the courage. Now you're just going to do it. You're going to do what makes you feel good. And you know, you're following your own soul's path and it's bringing you all of this prosperity and abundance. And it seems quite unexpected. Look at that. And we also have the ace of wands, but it's a blessing. It's a new beginning. You've had it in you all along. Now you're just capitalizing on it. All right, you guys, if these messages resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Feel free to leave a comment, you guys, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, my dear Aquarius. Let's go ahead and see what Samhain blessings and messages Spirit has in store for my dearest Aquas. Messages, please, for my Aquarius for this Samhain reading. So we get purity. So this could be a detox. This could be healing. I love this. And we also get wishes. So a lot of you guys, your wishes are coming true. Um, you guys, a lot of you, you're releasing yourself from toxic situations, relationships. Um, and in doing so, you're realizing you're calling in your wish fulfillment. A lot of you, you're recognizing as well that what you want out of a situation, a relationship, or a situation... Um, isn't in alignment with who you are now um, because you've gone through some upgrades, some shifts, and some changes. So we've got the Ten of Cups. So this is happiness. This is what you're calling in, Aquarius. For some of you, it's a love relationship. For others of you, it's family. Um, it could just be following your true soul's path and just knowing that you're, you know, that you're you're free and clear, but you're doing the right thing. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So for a lot of my Aquas, um, this has been a slow and steady journey. Um, and you've been dedicated, hardworking, whatever this might be for you. Um, and some of you, you might have an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you. But we get double confirmation of wish fulfillment. So Aquarius, you've got magic all around you with the Samhain um, at this time. With Samhain, the blessings are basically whatever it is that you want. You're getting like double, triple wish confirmation, wish fulfillment. So there may be somebody coming back to you, but what I see is regardless, you're coming into this very peaceful energy um, and you're moving on. You're moving on from anything that might be toxic or that was holding you back. Gorgeous, Aquarius. And we get Oracle, wait for important information. So don't make any snap decisions here. Remember that we all have an Oracle within. Trust your higher self. Connect to source energy through prayer and through meditation. But also pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities, okay? Trusting your intuition is going to lead you down the right path here. And especially about a particular person or anybody's intentions. Because I do feel that some of you, they're showing me devil energy. Like you guys were dealing with somebody that didn't have your best intentions in the past where you were doing things that were holding you back and you are de definitely freeing yourself from that to call in this happiness all right look at that transformation aqua transformation is beautiful yep i think your life is going to look so different i think it already probably does than it did about six months ago um, but a lot of you guys you're transforming as a result of sort of up leveling and raising your vibration aqua you're going to be calling in people in situations that are in a much higher vibration and embrace the in-between because i feel like this is where you've been for quite some time um, and you've been in the process of transforming purifying up leveling keep up the good work i think you've put one foot in front of the other there's no quick fix and i think you guys know that um, and I think you're ready to reap these rewards and these blessings. All right, Aqua, if these messages resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using um, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Um, and don't forget to ring that notification bell or 
um, leave a comment if you feel called to do so. All right, Aquas, thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Hello, my dear Pisces, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what is coming your way. Messages, please, for my Pisces for this Samhain reading. All right, we've got rebirth. Ooh, beautiful. So something, there could be a rekindling. Um, you could also just be going through a very deep transformation. And we get ritual. Look at my Pisces. You guys are one of the most intuitive signs of the Zodiac. A lot of you guys may identify as, as witches or you know, readers, empaths, intuitives. But you guys have been working really, really hard, tapping into your higher self. A lot of you may be doing special rituals like with the moon or, you know, celebrating um, Samhain in particular. Um, but I also get that you guys are ready. You're ready for this new cycle that is upon you um, that's coming your way. I love that. Look at all of that indigo blue color. Very feminine energy coming through here. Um, although it's not gender specific, but I just love this energy. Some of you, you may be finding out that you're with child or you're starting a new business. Um, yeah, it's just there's this new you that's emerging, Pisces. All right, so we get the Page of Cups. Beautiful. So there could be an apology coming your way. Again, it could be the rebirth of a relationship or a situation. But the Page of Cups is like, I'm ready to start this new cycle if, it's, uh, if it involves the past or not. Um, this is, you know, I'm, I'm learning my craft. Some of you guys are really honing your psychic abilities. Um, maybe you're starting businesses. We have the seven of wands. This is you stepping into the highest expression of yourselves, Pisces. Look at you. This is a card of winning. This is a card of success that you're on the right path. And we have the three of swords. Some of you guys, um, you've experienced some sort of heartbreak or betrayal, but you're healing from that. Again, I do feel that you may, those of you where this resonates as a, a love relationship, whether that's romantic or otherwise, um, I do feel like you may have an apology or you may be getting healing and closure from somebody that you pushed away or that pushed you away. Um, I think this is going to come as very unexpected. Um, but I also feel like you guys are healing um, any sort of energy of lack or any sort of fears or doubt that you could do this. So create this business or that you really, I think you're just coming into your psychic and intuitive powers. Look at you, high priestess energy. You guys are so, you guys are being, receiving a huge, huge psychic download. Um, your third eye chakra is getting an upgrade. You guys can absolutely trust your intuition. That's where your success lies. Okay. You're, and wow, it's very, very powerful. A lot of you guys are going through a deep heart healing as well. Okay. It's like you're letting it all out, Pisces, when it comes to your psychic abilities, your intuition. You you know you're seeing past, like the veil is the thinnest during Samhain, and you guys are seeing like with laser vision right through it and right through anyone's BS as well, right? Um, the white witch be the light. Yeah, so a lot of you guys are starting a new journey, um, you know, either in witchcraft or in healing or just trusting your psychic abilities you're trusting your inner wisdom, and that is gorgeous energy. Absolutely, Pisces. This is the path you were meant to take. All right, and we get turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Absolutely. And we get seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So everything is unfolding the way that it, that it was meant to. A lot of my Pisces, you were giving to a certain person or situation and you may not have been getting anything back. And so that may be why certain things ended and it ended in some sort of heartbreak. But I feel like with this watch and wait and the seahorse to me always invokes an energy of soulmate energy. So soulmates don't have to be lovers, but they certainly can be. Um, but I feel like what you put out in the past, like karmic justice and healing, are taking place for you as part of this blessing along with a major major psychic upgrade here all right pisces i'm going to leave it here if these messages resonate with you i'm just going to ask that you like share subscribe do check out the description box if you're after a private reading or you like the cards that i'm using or you want to follow me on tiktok and instagram and don't forget to leave um, a comment if you feel called to do so and don't forget to ring that notification bell sending you guys lots of love and light take care 
Hello, my dear Aries, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in store for my dearest Aries. Sending my Aries out there special, special, special positive energy, love, and light. You guys have been slaying it when it comes to my readings lately. So I love you. Thank you for your love and support. You guys are amazing. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through so you guys get integrity. Beautiful. Whoops. And you get enchantment. Wow. Okay. So, you know, Aries, I feel like you may have someone under your spell or somebody may be under yours. Okay. And with integrity, it's about recognizing whether or not this is in alignment with you and your values and your morals. Um, let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper. I feel like also Aries, you guys have been, you guys are just, I, I feel like you guys are really in alignment with yourselves and somebody is like, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. But I feel like somebody's falling in love with you because of that. So whether it's like, you know, it's a boss or it's somebody that's recruiting you or it's clients, it's like, you're just, you're so in alignment right here. And I see you being so balanced that you just kind of, you're manifesting and you're, you're attracting a lot because of that. All right. So we do see the page of cups. So you could have an apology coming your way. You could have the beginning of a relationship or a love offer coming your way. Like, I feel like you're actually getting a lot of different offers, whether it's in love or it's in money business because of this energy, because you're in your integrity, you're in alignment. The nine of swords. So a lot of you guys, there's something here that you're really trying to figure out if you're making the right decision. Um, because this is an energy of, I can't eat, I can't sleep. This is a reminder to not overthink things, Aries. Yeah, there are some, there's a lot that maybe you weren't able to see, to see. You need to really trust your intuition. So for some of you guys, you are, you are wondering if there's a particular relationship or person or situation that is in alignment with you. Like I said, I feel like you're attracting a lot of people and, and things. So it's going to be important that you cut through any sort of confusion, but we see the eight of swords, Aries. Aries, some of you guys are overthinking, overthinking this, whatever it is, a job change, starting a business, a new relationship, repairing a relationship. Um, just, you know, stay in your power, stay balanced, trust that, you know, um, trust that, that what feels good is in alignment with you. Okay. That's of course, balancing, you know, having a healthy balance between intuition and logic and reason. Okay. But don't overthink things. Cause I feel with the eight and the nine of swords, you guys have been doing your head in because you're trying to figure something out if it's right for you or who this person really is a really strong cancer Pisces energy there as well. You might have that in your chart or you might be dealing with cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Um, I think the answers are going to become very clear to you. Um, I, I feel like there's something here where you may not be trusting your judgment completely. Yeah, look at this. See beyond the current situation because there are some secrets. So you do need to tap into your intuition. There's someone or something that's really confounding or really confusing for you, Aries. And I feel like you guys are slaying it. You guys are on fire. But at the same time, there's something here that's making you pause. That's making you think, uh oh, am I seeing this right? Am I doing things correctly? Am I on the right path? It's just all about your intuition, you guys. Trust your intuition. Don't let that ego... Um, you know, paint you into a corner or make you, you know, get into this over analysis paralysis or worrying too much. Spirit wants you to know that life is speeding up. It might feel a little bit overwhelming, but you've got this Aries. You can trust yourself and take a leap of faith. That's your energy. That's the full energy. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. I love that. It is time to take a leap of faith. You might've been thinking about something too much, um, I feel like you've started to sort of second guess yourself and spirit saying, don't do that. Trust your intuition, Aries. You're on the right path. Um, I think you kind of know what you need to know, but there's something that you're not trusting about it. So give yourself time, but don't overthink it. All right. So I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. I'm going to leave it here. Um, if these messages resonated with you, um, 
don't uh, please like share subscribe check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell all right Aries sending you lots of love and light take care Hello, my dear Taurus, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's go ahead and see what Spirit has in store for you for this Samhain reading. Okay, so we've got success, beautiful, and we've got wishes. So there is a successful outcome. You are getting your wishes granted. Ooh, Taurus, so this can be in love, this can be in money, this can be in health having to do with your family, your resources. What a gorgeous energy. I love the wish fulfillment and there's a brilliant success. And I also feel like you guys are prepared. It's like where prepara preparation meets opportunity and bang, you get your wish fulfillment. So we get the 10 of cups. So some of my Taurus, this is about a love relationship or family, but this is happiness. Your Samhain blessings and messages are happiness is here, success. It's going to come quite unexpectedly. Some of you guys, it could be a reunion um, or there was something here that had to fall. There was the end of a relationship, an end of an era, um, an end of a cycle, but it's for your highest and greatest good so that you know your wishes could be fulfilled here, Taurus. And a lot of you, it's because you've made a decision. Like I said, this is not just sort of some sort of passive wish fulfillment. This is something that you've actively been working towards. Okay, we see the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck some of you have fire in your chart or dealing with a fire sign but the queen of wands is magnetic she's seductive she's a ceo she gets what she wants because she she's in this beautiful energy of manifestation you are very unexpectedly after a period of doing a lot of juggling, spinning a lot of different plates, you know, you were in a sort of an unsustainable energy, whatever it is you're letting go of, Taurus, a relationship, a job, a behavior pattern, it's for your highest and greatest good. And it's calling in when at the bottom of the deck here, we have good fortune. So you get wishes, you get success and you get good fortune. So seriously, Taurus, it really doesn't get better than this. So what a huge, huge blessing, or maybe a dump truck load of blessings coming their way. But it's also something that you've worked for and something that you've been manifesting. Okay, and we get medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So you've been trusting your intuition. But I also feel you guys, you're healing. And you know, this 10 of cups card wanted to come out in the reverse. So a lot of you guys, you're healing from from a family situation, an illness, a loss, a breakup, a separation, something that you were really emotionally invested in didn't work out because it wasn't for your highest and greatest good, Taurus. But now it's open. It's like cleared the way for wish fulfillment, good fortune, and success. <laughs> I mean, seriously, gorgeous energy. We also have Aries and Scorpio coming through really strong. Um, bring your ideas to life. So a lot of you guys, you could be starting a business. You've had this vision of the future and now, now it's coming to fruition, Taurus. And spider spirit, yep, that's what I'm saying. Make your dreams real. But you guys are also untangling yourselves, okay? You might've been in a situation where, where it was complicated, where there was a lot of drama, where you felt stuck, where there wasn't a way out. Well, guess what? tower moment, boom, clearing, you know, setting the stage, clearing the field for you to move forward, to bring your ideas and to make your dreams a reality. Wow, Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. Um, if these messages resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after private reading or you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that information is down below in the description box. Also feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, you guys have a beautiful day. Take care. Hello, my dear Gemini's, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. So let's go ahead and see what is in store for my dearest Gemini's. Oof, there was a little bit of stuck energy there, huh? All right, so we've got wishes, absolutely, wish fulfillment. Careful what you wish for, Gemini. Uh, it's coming, and it's coming in abundance. Look at that. So a lot of you guys, you're experiencing abundance and prosperity. At the bottom of the deck, we get good fortune. So this can be in love. This can be in health. This can be in money, in career, finances, resources. Oh my goodness, Gemini, it is coming. It is on its way. Whatever it is you've been asking for, whatever you've been wishing for, hoping, and praying. Let's dig a little bit deeper for you. 
All right, let's see, we've got the Six of Swords. So some of you guys, you may be wishing um, or hoping that someone or something comes back to you. Um, but what I do see is that some of you guys are gonna be receiving some sort of resources or support um, to move forward and to find peace after a period of turmoil or after a period of feeling anxious or, or something along those lines. There may have been something that didn't work out for you. There was a lack of teamwork or compatibility with you and coworkers, you in a job, you in a particular relationship. Some of you, you could have been put in a third party situation. And again, you're healing from this and moving forward, moving on. Um, and we see justice. Some of you guys have Libra in your chart or you were dealing with a Libra, but this is the scales of justice being balanced out because whatever didn't work out for you, Gemini, it wasn't for your highest and greatest good. And in fact, I feel like you guys may have been stuck in a bit of a karmic cycle. Again, that can be in a love relationship, a job, a group of people, a behavior pattern, but you're absolutely freeing yourself. It's like you have everything you need to move forward new beginning. Gemini, some of you guys, this is a new relationship, a new job. You're really passionate about something. Someone's really passionate about you. I mean, Gemini, this is karmic justice. Some of you guys are getting married. Someone may be asking you out on a date. Um, it could be you starting your own business, but it's absolutely in alignment with you. Um, things are working out exactly the way they're supposed to, and spirit is bringing you a lot of abundance and success. Good fortune, Gemini. All right, medicine guardian, be open to healing information. So I was picking up on that. A lot of my gems, whether it's financially, romantically, maybe a combination of both, family issues, you guys are absolutely healing. Some of you are also healing from either a recurring illness or something that was quite, um, that was, that had you maybe either bedridden or had you, had you sick for a little bit. All right, so I do feel that, you know, things are balancing out for you. Um, I love that energy. You're trusting, you're believing in magic again. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I feel like you will be believing in magic again. Okay, tend to the small things. So I do feel that there's going to be a lot of blessings and abundance coming your way when this karmic justice is sort of served or doled out to you. Um, but, you know, but don't forget about the small details. Don't get too caught up in the big picture. But also don't get stuck in the small details either, right? Um because I do feel there's a lot that's happening quite fast for you, Gemini, and you're turning knowledge into wisdom. So a lot of you guys, you're transmuting negative energy. I, I do feel that a lot of you, if this is a love situation or it's some, having to do with work, there's something that was hurtful, that was painful, that wasn't working out. And instead of, and you may have been stuck on it for quite some time, but you're finally, you're transmuting it and you're turning it into wisdom and it's actually working in your favor, Gemini. All I know here, blessings, abundance, a brand new beginning after a period of difficulty. Can't ask for anything more than that, Gemini. Sending you guys lots of love and light. Um, before we go, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe if these messages resonated with you. Check out the description box if you're after a private reading, you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Geminis, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Hello, my dear Cancers, my fellow Cancers. Welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's see what spirit has in store for my dearest Cancers. All right, we've got luck. Absolutely. So a time, a lucky time, good fortune. But remember, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And we get enchantment. So there's magic all around you. Cancers, I also feel like you're, there might be some sort of serendipitous event that puts you in contact with somebody very important. So whether that's a new love, whether that's somebody that's going to help you with your business, somebody that's going to give you a piece of advice that just sort of sets that sets you off on a new path. I also feel like a lot of people, you're going to be, uh, your energy, this good fortune energy, it's like coming from within that you're going to have a lot of people under your spell, Cancer. Ooh, yeah, I love that. We also get this energy of purity at the bottom of the deck, which you guys couldn't see. Um, but that is about you healing, detoxing, purging, and releasing. Um, some of you guys, you, I think you're going to start to see that what you ask for comes to you quite easily. So again, be careful what you wish for. All right. 
So we've got the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. I told you, Cancer, some of you guys, there's a serendipitous event that's going to put you in contact with a new soulmate. This can be a lover. This can be a, a life partner. This can be um, a teacher, a mentor. This can be uh, somebody who helps you with your business. It's just, it's this beautiful energy of getting what you need, reciprocity. And like I said, I was picking up originally, it might be this feels like a random series of events that puts you in contact with a very special person. Your wish fulfillment could be another water sign. Again, Cancer, careful what you wish for because it's absolutely happening here. All right. And there's a beautiful new beginning abundance. If you nurture this, if you take your time, um, if you're open, transparent, uh, this is something that could really go somewhere. Now, some of you guys, you may it may come on the heels of something that feels like a missed opportunity. Um, but again, that your luck is changing. There's a beautiful new beginning, something that you're very, very emotionally invested in. And we see the Queen of Pentacles, Cancers. You guys have waited a long time for this. Um, I feel like this was a similar message in your recent love reading. Um, but again, these messages are general in nature, so apply it to whatever situation you may need. But I think you guys have been really... You you guys have been working on yourselves. You guys have been healing. Um, you guys have been focusing on your, your business, on your foundation, on your coin, on your health. Um, and a lot of you guys, you're manifesting somebody that's going to meet you halfway or the resources that you need to bring you this balance and this happiness. I also feel you're going to be under someone's spell with that enchantment energy, or you're going to feel you're going to be like flying really high as a result of what feels like a lucky break, but it's really just spirit's plan, right? It was meant to happen this way. So we get snake. Yep. You're shedding old skin. A lot of you, I was picking up on that with this purity card. You're getting out of an old way of thinking or believing behavior or relationship or a job, just something that doesn't serve you any longer cancer and it feels really good because it's a long time coming yeah it's like the new you cancer and it has other people turning heads in a romantic cap capacity or otherwise so the miracles are endless so it's going to feel like a miracle cancer and like i said there's it's going to feel lucky it's going to feel serendipitous and i mean it is but at the same time it's like this is your energy this is what you're attracting this was meant for you this new beginning this blessing and we get koi fish spirit. There's always enough. So a lot of you, you're coming out of an energy of lack and shifting that point of attraction within. That's what's calling in all of this abundance and prosperity. You see clearly now, Cancer, you're trusting your wisdom, your intuition, but it's like also the, the blockages. They're, they're being removed. And that's a result of your hard work, your waiting, your patience, all right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful messages for my dearest cancers. Um, if you guys are after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, um, all that info is down below in the description box. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, cancers, sending you all my love. Take care. Hello, my dear Leos, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for my dearest Leos. All right, so we've got love. Ooh, you guys are the first sign to get this. All right, so you've got love coming in, or maybe you're solidifying or taking a relationship to the next level, and luck. <laughs> so Cancer got the luck card as well. Okay, so it's going to feel like a serendipitous event. Things are moving in your favor. We also have beauty. So Leo, I feel like somebody might be falling in love with you or there's going to be some sort of lucky break. I am getting some of you guys, you could be doing something with um, like aesthetics, cosmetics, maybe even like a channel, like a YouTube channel where you're doing like fashion and beauty or I don't know. I just feel like you guys, there's this glow about you and it doesn't have to be that you know, it's not gender specific, but somebody's really taking notice of your beauty. It's going to feel like a lucky break, Leo. Um, but truthfully, it's truly what's meant for you. So you might have felt like things were stuck for you for a bit. You might have been stuck in a karmic cycle, but this wheel of fortune is all about good luck. Okay. It's about things turning in your favor. Um, whatever felt stuck for you, if it was love, if it was a love relationship, romance, family, your job, whatever you're very emotionally invested in, 
it's gonna it's bringing in a lot of abundance and prosperity you've fought for this you've had your walls and your barriers up for quite some time leo because i think you felt like you were under attack or you know some of you guys maybe there were psychic attacks or spell work going on but what i feel like is you fought for this this isn't just some lucky break you know most of the time you know, and you may have people say to you like, oh, you know, overnight success, but you know what hard work you've put into this situation. Some of you guys, um, you are dealing with a water sign or you could be a Cancer Leo cusp, but the Queen of Cups here is telling me that you're finally, you're trusting your intuition. And I feel like there were moments in the past where you were feeling exhausted, where you were feeling like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not making the right decisions. I'm not on the right path. Um, you might have been also involved in like a lot of drama. There might have been a few pity parties along the way there, Leo. But I mean, I feel like it's because you were really feeling overwhelmed. And so the Queen of Cups here, I love this because this is like, you know what? I've been through a lot. Um, you're, I feel like there was this energy of feeling tired and feeling exhausted. You're now protecting your energy and then boom, everything opens up for you overall energy. Yep. This is some sort of message or some sort of love offer, some sort of job offer, some sort of new beginning. Um, you know, you may be hesitant at first or wonder if you're really truly prepared for this, but you are tap into that Leo strength. Your mantra is I will, because Leo, you are, <laughs> you're making it happen. Um, and you're doing it in a way that in a graceful way, in a way that makes it looks easy, but only, you know, the hard work and the grit and the elbow grease that has gone into getting you where you are. Okay. And we get arrow surround yourself with protective energy. So I do get this Leo. I do feel you might have naysayers. You may have had or have haters around you and just be careful if you feel like your energy is being vaped or, you know, somebody here is, you know, if you feel like you're over, you know, it just be careful, protect your energy. You can do that with oils. You can do that with crystals, with candles, but just make sure that you're taking care of yourself because the nine of wands is also a reminder to not overwork yourself. And look, we also see protection guardian. So drop your shield. So it may be time to let down some of those walls and those barriers, um, but also to be quite discerning as to who and what you let into your energy. Cause you, you have been, it does feel like you have been under attack. And especially those of you who might be blowing up on social media, or you might be like, I just feel like some of you guys are, you know, I know you're going to love this and think I'm just sort of BSing you, but some of you guys are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, male or female doesn't matter however you you know identify but what I'm seeing here is that there may be people that want to like say that oh you slept your way to the top or oh you only got that way because you're pretty or because you're handsome or you know whatever it is and and the truth is you've put in so much hard work and effort into this situation Leo you deserve this and don't let anybody don't let anybody tell you or make you feel otherwise okay Dove spirit, be at peace. Yep. You know what you've done. You know the work you've put into this situation. You know that you deserve this. I also feel after a period of being under attack, of feeling like very guarded, having really high walls and barriers up, there is a period of peace where you can be, you don't have to be on edge or on guard so much. And you can see things clearly because before I feel like you may have had like frenemies or you might've had an enemy in your midst. Um, and you know, and I think you're starting to see very clearly what energy you will and won't let into your life. And energy is food, drink, people, news, music, colors, sounds, whatever it might be. But you do see things clearly. You're on the up and up here. Capitalize on it. Um, find, strike a healthy balance between protecting your energy, but also, you know, but also letting your guard down a little bit, okay? Because I do feel that that may be necessary. And we get be loyal to what you love. Absolutely. Absolutely, Leo. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, if these messages resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards that I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to leave a comment and to ring that notification bell. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, my dear Virgos, and welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for my dearest Virgos. What do my dearest fellow Virgos need to hear for Samhain messages and blessings? So we've got purity. Mm, that's you guys. That's Virgo energy, that virginal energy. 
All right, so let's see, we've got inspiration. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is a lot of you guys have been through something, a relationship, a job, maybe you're looking at your old patterns and behaviors, um, and you're going through a detox and a cleanse. I also feel that your behaviors, your decisions, the way you're presenting yourself, your up-leveling is having a ripple effect on those that are around you, those that you're energetically connected to. Virgo, there's magic all around you, okay? I love that. But I also feel that it, the time has come for my dearest Virgos to clear your energy, okay? All right, so we've got the Ten of Cups. So some of my Virgos, you've been through a heartbreak or a separation or you've moved away from something that you were really, really emotionally invested in. It could be a job, a living situation, um, a career path, whatever. Um, but the Ten of Cups tells me that you are calling in your happiness and wish fulfillment. This is about surrounding yourself with your soul tribe and your collective. Like I said, I feel like you Virgos, you're taking the lead though. And what you're, the changes and the shifts that you're making are having this major effect on the people around you. So a lot of my Virgos, you guys have an apology coming in. Maybe somebody wants to, you know, heal a situation with you. But for others of you, this is starting a new journey, um, a new healthier journey, a new happier journey, a journey that's in alignment with you. Um, and we get the seven of wands. Yeah, some of you guys, you have... I feel like you've, you, you may have gone MIA for a little bit, Virgo, to really focus on yourself, your health, your money, your business, and you are now vibing as the highest expression of yourselves. That's why you're coming out as this purity energy. That's why I felt like it was the archetype of the virgin, okay? Not talking about, you know, sex and things like that, but, you know, the, you're, you're coming out in alignment as Virgo, and there's magic to that. And that's the inspiration that you're feeding into this situation and others are getting from you. You're coming out the winner here, Virgo. And a lot of you guys, it took pushing away someone or something or leaving a lower vibrational timeline in the past. Um, some of you guys, you could be healing a particular situation though as well, but you're coming in, bringing in a completely new energy. And a lot of you, yeah, you realize that there was someone or something that was kind of keeping you anchored in this lower vibration. And maybe you needed to like take a little time out, you know, and shake it off, dust yourself off. But now you're like, you're in this new energy of moving forward, onward and upward. And it's magical Virgo because it's bringing in your wish fulfillment. It's bringing in happiness for you. Some of you guys are cutting cords. It could be with a family member or a friend or a partner um, a coworker, even a lover or a long-term partner here, um, that it was just, it was overdue. It was long overdue is what I'm seeing. And oof, it's feeling really good. I'm getting this energy of lightness. I'm getting this energy of freedom coming to you and happiness. Learn from spiritual experiences. And that's what I'm seeing here, Virgo. You guys are taking the lead. You guys are finding your peace. You guys are healing. You're recognizing what is and isn't important to you. You're detoxing and cleansing your energy. And you are becoming, it's like the student is now becoming the teacher. We have the earth guardian, which is your energy. Stay rooted and grounded. You absolutely are. You've, you, you're realizing what you need to do. You're realizing where you need to go who and who and what can and can't come with you. But I just see so many people looking up to you, Virgos. Like, I don't know if you guys are teachers, if you guys are life coaches, if you guys are, you know, the leader of your family. Um, magic works through you. Absolutely. There's a, you have the magical touch here, Virgo. I think people are looking at you in awe. That's what I'm seeing. People are like, this is a new version of Virgo, but you're also like, you're stepping up and taking the lead, but it's not so much as like alpha. It's more like as Sigma. It's like this quiet power that you have, um, because you're doing it. You're not talking about it. You're doing it. And people are really starting to take notice. And we get the miracles are endless, yeah, and abundance coming to you. Yeah, so you, this is going to feel so magical. Virgos, a lot of you, you've waited a long time for this. Um, and there was just something that you needed to shift and change within you, and boom, everything sort of falls into place. Use your mind wisely. Don't overthink. Trust that you're on the right path, Virgo. I love this energy for you. 
All right, I'm gonna leave it here, sending you guys lots of love and light. Um, if you're after a private reading or you like the cards that I'm using or you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below in the description box. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, Virgos, I love you. Thank you for listening. Hello, my dearest Libras. Welcome to your Samhain messages and blessings. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for you. Messages for my dearest Libras, please. Last but not least today. Okay. We get innocence. Ooh, okay. And we get rebirth. Absolutely. So some of you guys, this could be um, that you are with child or you are finding out that you're adding to your family. Um, for others of you, you're just taking a beginner mind to this new cycle, to this new relationship. Um, we see at the bottom of the deck here, there's a deep healing that has taken place or that is taking place here. Wow, Libra, I love it. This is the whole new you. A lot of you, you've been through a difficult breakup or separation or illness or loss of investments, time, energy, whatever it might be, but you're coming out brand spanking new, all right? And you've done the healing work. So it's time to, you know, the phoenix to rise from its ashes, from the ashes, okay? Let's see what else comes through. Wow, this has come out for everybody almost. It's serious, a lot of happiness coming your way with these Samhain blessings. This could be a love relationship, this could be marriage, again, this could be a baby. Um, it could be you starting your own business, something that you are creating. It's bringing you happiness and wish fulfillment. The sun, so some of you guys, it's involving a Leo. For some of you, you, may be re, you might be rekindling or reigniting a relationship or going back to a job that you love or a place that you love. But I love this sun energy and the twins. So some of you, you could be on a twin flame journey, but I do get this strong energy of something happening with children, either your children or you're with child or you're finding out that you're gonna be a parent or you're adding to your family. And you know what? You're ready to release these burdens. Strong fire energy, Sag and Leo coming through in this reading. Um, we see the two of wands. You're ready for this Libra. No matter how you might feel, you're ready to walk through this portal. This is about patience. This is about planning. This is about looking at all the details, you know, being grounded, but also seeing the big picture. Some of you guys are also getting certain resources that are going to help you either start this business or you're feeling comfortable that now you have what it takes, you know, to start a family um, or this relationship. It's just going to bring you a lot, a lot of happiness because you're releasing burdens and you're healing from the past, Libra. Mm -hmm. And with that two of wands and the sun card, I do feel there's fire energy all around you, passion, excitement, but I also feel some of you, this does directly correlate to a twin flame journey. That hasn't really come out for any of the other signs, Libra. So, all right, we get t uh, trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Some of you guys, you're finding that business partner or in the investor that's going to help make this a reality. Some of you guys, you're being approved for a loan to buy that home for your family or you're, you're, you're in that place where you can now start a family. Um, or start this business or start this relationship and a lot of you you might have somebody coming from a distance um, You know whether it's your twin flame or it's a soulmate or your divine counterpart They could be very different than your usual type and expectations or they've been abroad or they live at a distance from you But it's like releasing burdens and ushering in this brand new cycle Libra it doesn't get better than this really it doesn't all right, so let's see we get Use your mind wisely. So this is going to feel like a miracle with this flying pig here. <laughs> 47 breaks down to an 11. So I am getting really strong twin flame energy and Libran energy. So it's important that you use your mind wisely. Don't let emotions distort your vision or cloud your vision. Okay, and we get cat spirit claim your independence. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you know that you needed to break out on your own or do something on your own before you could call this energy in. Some of you, you might be leaving a job that, you know, was over, that was oppressive or there was no forward movement and you're starting your own business. You're going to see wild success and you're going to get unexpected resources here as well. And Libra, elephant spirit, learn from the past. You're not repeating any past mistakes. You're ready for this new cycle. You're ready for this new beginning. Um, it just, it looks beautiful. It feels amazing. So you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you guys lots of love and light. 
If these messages resonated with you, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out the description box if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Also, Libras, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And most of all, thank you for listening. I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care.